Hi everyone, and welcome to Anna Dialog, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. In this video, we're going to do a test. We're going to listen to the same song on different supports, and we're going to analyze that source, how it comes in the forms of a sound wave and its frequency response, knowing that the original song comes from a digital master. Let's take a look. Okay then, um, we're going to take a look at a recent production, a recent uh, album called Decade, which is produced from the uh, Italian group, 70s funky type, uh, Calibro 35, Calibro 35. They're, they're getting famous uh, over the years, they're very good musicians. And obviously, as you understood, they're inspired by the gangster type of movies of the 70s, uh, like Bullet, um, uh, Shaft, and things like that. So funky, rock, progressive sometimes. And uh, they recently came out with a special edition of their last album, coming on different supports. So we're going to take a look at, obviously, the CD, which is also on Bandcamp. The, the file is a normal typology, 44 0.1 kilohertz at 16 bits. That's the typical um, uh, frequency and bit depth of a CD track. So we're going to start from the CD, then we're going to take a look at the tape, cassette tape, then we're going to take a look at the vinyl record with 33 rounds, uh, revolutions per minute, as well as a single of that same song on a 45 RPM. And uh, the song is called Super Studio. We're going to always listen to the same track, obviously, in order to have a comparison. Although I must say that when we're going to go and analyze the different uh, diagrams, we're going to have different uh, levels of volume, different decibels. Because unfortunately, uh, as we will see, there is differences in the output, obviously due to, the, to my system, but also probably due to the mastering. One more technical aspect, I captured all the analog sources, signal coming from the different machines that we're going to use with a Zoom TAC 2. And I did that with the same sampling rate of and bit and, and bit uh, depth of a CD, which as I said is 44.1 kilohertz by, by 16 bits in order to have a more equal comparison with what is the native uh, digital source of this track. Let's start from the CD. Very nice packaging. Um, let's, let's try to listen at Super Studio how it sounds. Okay, so if we take a look at the frequency response, we will see that um, obviously there is an abrupt um, cut at uh, 20 kilohertz, 20,000 hertz. Although it doesn't have much sense to discuss about this because we're using a technology and plus the album was recorded with a technology which goes, aims at cutting off all frequencies after above 20 kilohertz. So it, we're, it's, we're just going to take a look at the different um, the charts just to have an idea if something is changing there. But obviously, um, uh, it, we will not have a higher frequency response in the other, uh, on the other formats. We will see that instead in another video we, when we're going to compare true analog 
um, records, songs, other for, other media, etc. Here, it's all sor sourced from the same file, so it doesn't have any, make any sense. But let's take a look anyway. So as we said, we saw the diagram of the frequency response. Here is a pic of the sound wave. And as you can see, uh, this is a typical layout, we, we, we could say a typical sound wave of a modernly mastered file. As you can see, we, we have the so-called brick of wall brick of sound. I mean, the whole, the whole area is filled up. That's why, why is that? because they're, we're cut, they're cutting off completely the dynamics. They're compressing, actually, the, the signal in order to have a higher volume boost. As you can see, everything is completely filled up. But let, let's go ahead. Let's, let's try to take a look at another media, and we will start to have a little more information. Cassette version. Very nice addition. Decent quality cassette. Nothing special, I would say, but... It's a nice addition. And let's hear a sample. Okay, so let's take a look at the frequency and response chart. As you can see, um, they're very it's very similar to that of the CD, although we have a more soft um, nuances, passages between the different frequencies uh, and reaching the 20 kilohertz. It's not abruptly cut off. So already there, there are some differences. We have some floor noise as well as the tape hiss, as we're going to have other types of dirty noises uh, inside what is the reading of, a, of, of an LP, etc. But that's not that strong, that, that background sound. Well, maybe the tape hiss a little bit, but it's not influencing that much. So don't worry about that. Uh, let's take a look at the sound wave. And as you can see here, we have already a huge difference from what is the wave file, the, the, the CD source of the same track. Already here we can appreciate a different, completely different type of dynamic range. As you can see, we have high peaks and low peaks perfectly, uh, perfectly displayed. Instead, when we have a CD, as we say with the WAV file, the digital file, it's completely compressed. It's all there in order to have this volume boost. And in fact, the volume is higher, as you maybe have seen on the frequency response chart of the CD track which in fact reached 0 dB, and all the other ones are going to be minus 13, minus 15, much lower, much, much less sound pressure, unfortunately. Okay, so let's proceed and take a look instead to the LP, to the 33 RPM. As always, I must say, a very nice addition, and let's listen to a sample. Okay, so um, I will try to equalize the different volumes, but again, you will notice a difference, unfortunately. So when we, you, you're trying to make some comparisons, you can also adjust the volume. I know that it's kind of, uh, it's kind of difficult at that point to, to have a, a faithful comparison, but unfortunately, the, the sound volumes of all of these are, are very, very different. Also, as I said, it's that's a problem introduced by, 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 the, by the sound system normally. That, that, that's what happens when you record music. <clears throat> um, so as we, as we, if we take a look at the frequency response chart, again, we have something very similar, I must say. As we, as we can see, we have a lower uh, sound level, less volume. 
but the, 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 how uh, the frequency response appears in a chart is very similar to the, the prior ones. As you can see, there's always this cutoff at 20, 20 kilohertz, although it decreases more slowly than how it did in the WAV file. If we take a look at the sound wave, again, we find a very similar um, result as that of the cassette. Um, a, a nice dynamic range, well clearly uh, laid out, and I would say even better, uh, with a better result than that of the cassette. But let, let's go ahead. Now we will pass to our last physical media, which is the single, the 45 RPM. As you know, 45 RPM means a higher speed and which means also a higher dynamics. Let's listen to a, a portion of the, the song. Okay, so uh, if we take a look, again, the frequency response chart, we see a, a, a very similar result. Uh, again, softer than what is the digital file and a lower sound pressure. If we go instead and see the sound wave, again, we find uh, even a little slightly better dynamics than what was the vinyl, the 33 R R RPM. So we see uh, actually a difference. I'd say now we just hear them all again, one after the other. Let's hear. So before closing the video, please remember a few things. As I wrote inside the video, remember that all these files unfortunately are compressed by YouTube. Uh, in fact, I will put some links in the video description here below to download each track so you can hear each track in the correct true resolution without any further compression by YouTube. So, did you find any differences? Please post your comments and questions here below. I'm interested in what you think about this test, about this comparison. And in, as I said, in the future, we will do that with an analog version, an analog domain situation in order to see more differences in the frequency response. And see you, see you. I hope to see you soon, guys. Thank you. Bye.